Hey everyone, I just want to talk about something little today, you know, something inconsequential, supposedly, and that's the impact that interactions have had on me that have had no foreseeable material influence on my life. So, a lot of times when I talk, when everyone talks about stuff, we talk about the great national or international implications of the economy. How can we chart this in some way where we can understand what impact this world will have on the world, you know, statistics on GDP or, you know, some kind of world debt levels. But we've also been starting to understand that there's a slightly different kind of uh, thing which is not really being measured that well by a lot of these big statistics, um, which is a lot of these social factors which go beyond below the radar. And what I'm talking about is, um, you know, those everyday events. And they're everyday events that if you were a truly uh, rational human being, as in economically rational, as in a proper uh, citizen according to uh, economists, as in a sociopath, they wouldn't matter, right? You, It's like one of those things where you walk down the street and someone's terribly rude to you, you know, the other not the other day, it's a couple of years ago now, a telemarketer called me and um, I was being very nice and at the end uh, I was just not buying what he was selling, he was probably having a bad day and at the end he just told me to fuck you and I, you know, I was pissed off that whole day, I was like keeping it in and you know, I was thinking should I call up his company, no I won't do it because you know, what if he loses his job? I'm not going to do that. I still remember to this day. So, that's probably what he wanted. So, good on him. Um, you know, other days in traffic, when I was learning to drive, I'm still a nervous driver. I don't drive a lot. But, when I was learning to drive, I was a really nervous driver. And, you know, I remember we have those big learning to drive signs on the back when we drive in Australia. So you really know when someone's learning to drive. I remember when those, you know, those people that honked me. I remember pretty much most of the, the people that honked the loudest. Um, years and years later, I remember those people. Uh, the teachers that, that really... Um, that really hurt me in some way, that pulled me in front of class and made a fool out of me. I remember now, you know, 15, 20 years later, I remember them, yeah? On the other side, I remember the good people and the good things. I remember, the, you know, I remember the bus drivers that had like that happy kind of banter with me and I was having a good day and it's it stayed with me um, I remember the the person where I first came to Australia and I was gonna miss out on uni for at least half a year probably a year because I got my application in too late and she seemed to kind of like she was talking to me and she was being really nice and I think she kind of like slid it through somehow into the main pile and so I got in that year even though my grades wouldn't have been good enough for a late submission so she must have put it in with the main submissions. I remember as well um, early time when I was going to uni that person that said hello to me um, when I was just walking ar along the road and I was just having a bad day being very anxious um, who was just really genuine. There was no one else on that road. Um, so I knew he wasn't making fun of me. So he was genuinely just really, really saying hello to me. 
in a really personal kind of way with just the two of us. I still remember that to this day. It's four or five years ago now. Uh, I remember so many of the kind things, and they were just moments of kindness that people have given me in my life. And they're so meaningful to me because they are moments of kindness out of someone someone's life who had no objective reason to care about me who had no objective reason to ever even consider my very existence but for that brief moment they just treated me as a human being not as a a unit of economic kind of measurement not as a way to further their job no they were just good people to me for no reason whatsoever just because they chose to be good people and that has had a huge impact on me the impact it's had is I'm irrevocably um, influenced by them I, I just can't go back They've inspired me past any any kind of boundary, any landmark. I I want to be one of those people. I want to make people believe in themselves and society. I want people to help each other be better people. That's that's what I want. That's what I want more than pretty much everything else in the world. Because I know that if that happens, I'll be so happy that that's everything I want as well. But my point with the entire with the entire little spiel here is, those were not things that anyone is going to put into a well-defined system of anything. They were little moments out of someone's life tiny little windows instances you know extreme instances perhaps because they were somehow meaningful to me or the other person was expressing some extreme emotion anger, happiness but they had an impact out of all proportion to what they should have had if I were treating it as kind of a a um, a calculating being that was just measuring up material gain, material loss. The truth is I measure up humanity my own, other people's. I know I'm a human being I know I care about people. I know people are really important to me. When I see that there are people out there that return that emotion, that feeling, I'm ecstatic. It almost drives me nuts with how happy it makes me. So... There is, there is, you know, I mean, I want to be materially safe. I don't want to starve to death. I want to have a house over my head so that I don't get rained on. I know that people don't have that, so I really want that for myself. I want to be safe. But aside from that, that is all I want. I want people like that to be in my life. People that I can feel... that can make me feel that that's all that's all I really want in the end that's all I really want I don't want any of the other things that's the thing you know your materialist 
society, your big money, your great futuristic technologies, uh, your enormous progress, keep it. Keep keep it if you can give me the other thing. Just all of the all of the rejects that that won't that won't sacrifice themselves for 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 you know technological process and painful painful um, economic advancement. All of the people that just want some real human interaction. All those people that care about people. Please let just tell me where we are. Just let us assemble. Let us be together. That's all I want. That's all I want. That's really all I want. I just want to meet you. I just want to be happy, you know. I'll see you guys all later.